everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is day 24 of the Grateful Thankful Plus Challenge. I feel like November is just flying by, but um, this thing I'm most grateful for today is, believe it or not, as messy as it is, glitter. Aww. I used to really love glitter as a kid and I still like it okay now that I'm an adult, but it is messy so I don't use it that much. So I figured today I would show you some of my glittery items. Other than craft glitter because, you know, it's kind of... <laughs> not interesting. So um, first thing I'm going to show you is this vintage lip smacker little purse I have. I'm going to show you what's inside. It has body glitter and then three lip products. This was I got this when I was in high school and it got me, I pretty much wore it often. We have It came with shimmer cheek gel that could also go in your arms and your legs. I'm wearing it now. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm wearing the lip products and the glitter. There's not very much left, so I'm using it really sparingly. I'm going to show you my three favorite things from this set, the three lip smackers. So when I put them on, I, this is the order I do that in. We have, they're very scratched up, by the way. Lip smacker, it's the flavor Berry Heavenly. This is one of my favorite lip smacker flavors of all time. It's been well loved, as you can tell. It's got that iconic block logo. And I love the look of this one, too. This is Squeezy Lip Smacker Cotton Candy Shimmer. And then I finish it off with Vanilla Frosting Lip Sparkler. And I have a few other little bags like this, but this I think this was my favorite one. And I'm going to show you my nails. They're painted glittery. And I'm going to show you the shade in a minute. I'm wearing called uh, Lips Are Dripping Honey. And this was from the Carrie Underwood line from the Cult by OPI. It was from 2014. I actually have all the lip balms in this collection. They were very hard to find in Indiana, though, but it was well worth it. I didn't have to buy them online, at least. That was a plus. I believe Lips Are Dripping Honey was a line from her song, Good Girl. That was released in 2012. All right, I have some bouncy balls that are filled with glitter and little toys. Got a juggle. I'm not a juggler, but that didn't turn out too bad. All right, and I'm going to show you a party idea from one of my favorite books from childhood called Snoozapalooza. It was published by American Girl in, I believe, 2005. Let me see for sure. Yeah, 2005. This has a bunch of slumber party ideas in it. Um, One of them, the one I'm going to show you today, is called Glit Glitter Gala, Glitter Gala, how do we say it? Right, I'm going to read it to you, and I'm going to show you the ideas in case you're interested in doing it for yourself. Glitter Gala. This shindig simply sparkles from start to finish. Invitation. Use markers to write party details on a crepe paper streamer. Put scrap paper underneath while you write in case the ink bleeds through. Leave extra space at the end so writing doesn't show. Roll up the streamer. Twist a lace garland around it for a dazzling presentation. Alright, that's kind of an example of what it would look like. You glow girl. Here are a few ideas to add some glitter to your gala. Greet your friends with a sprinkling of body glitter as they arrive. Wrap metallic star garland or pipe cleaners around your ponytail. Alright, if you want to read it for yourself, that's where it is. Add a flash of fun with a sparkly design on your face, arm, ankle, or the back of your hand. Use a toothpick to dot corn syrup on your skin. Press on little flat back rhinestones or sequins, let dry. Hang strings of white lights around the party room. Metallic streamers and helium balloons available at party supply shops will uh, also add shine. That was kind of a tongue twister. Paint fingernails with glitter nail polish like I did. Make napkin rings from Star Garland. All right, there's the ideas there. Shine on. <laughs> Use jewel glue to add rhinestones and craft jewels to sunglasses or picture frames, or both. Want something even cooler? Take a picture of everyone at Sparkly Shades. Include copies in your thank you notes for girls to add to their sparkly frames. Everyone will have a glowing memory of the fun you had. Okay, there's that idea. That's what it would look like. Sweet sparklers. Stick frilly toothpicks into mini marshmallows. Dip each marshmallow into milk and then into jello powder or Pop Rocks candy. Serve, arrange your sparkly treats on a foil tray or a glass plate lined with a foil doily. Okay. Fun fizz. In a punch bowl, mix any flavor of unsweetened drink powder with one half cup sugar and two quarts cold water. Add a can of frozen grape juice concentrate and stir until dissolved. Pour in a two liter bottle of cold ginger ale and stir gently. Serve in glittery glasses. Alright, that's what the glasses would look like. 
That one girl has the same name as I do. Berkeley Spritzers. Mix fruit punch and lemon lime soda in a pitcher or punch bowl. Add club soda for extra fizz. Serve in glittery glasses. Glittery glasses. Use glitter glue or fabric paint to write your guests' names on plastic party glasses. Decorate with rhinestone stickers. Guests can rinse glasses after use and keep us favors. Alright, and then you probably saw the glasses already, but that's what they would look like. And here's a few game ideas. Twinkle, twinkle, you're a star. Each girl writes on a slip of paper a silly talent that she has. An example might be, I can sing the alphabet backward or I can put my foot behind my head. That sounds very uncomfortable. Put all the slips in a shoebox. Take turns drawing a slip from the box and trying to guess whose talent it is. If you're right, the girl performs her talent. But if you're wrong, you have to try to do it. Videotape the silliness and watch your talented performances later. This is an old book because we don't have videotapes anymore. <laughs> There's a girl trying attempting to sing the alphabet backwards. That is kind of hard to do. I mean, you have to kind of think. Usually, I mean, it's some, I have to think about it when I try to do it. Here's a fun twist on a school spelling game. Players stand in a circle. One girl starts spelling a word by saying a letter, for example, F. Continuing around the circle, each girl says a letter. The object is to spell a real word. For example, players' letters might be F R I E N D. The next player could stay in the game by adding S. The next players might be able to think quickly enough to add A. IP to spell friendship. If you can't think of a letter to make a word, say sparkle and sit down. The last girl standing wins. Okay, so that's that idea. There it is. I feel like American Girl made an outfit that actually looked like this one this girl's wearing around this same time this book was released. I don't know for sure though. Glam finale. Frost your favorite layer cake with white icing or buy one already frosted. Sprinkle the cake with edible glitter cake sparkles. Top it off with fancy sparkle candles. Dim the lights when it's time to eat. Remember, only adults should light candles. Sparkly smile. Don't forget to go to sleep with sparkly teeth. Get a tube of sparkle toothpaste for everyone to try. Okay, okay this is for the following day for breakfast idea. A toast to the host. Drink sparkling grape juice cocktail in your glitter glasses and make star cutouts from toast with a star-shaped cookie cutter. Top toast with butter and jelly or cinnamon and sugar. Glittery gifts. There are lots of bright ideas for glittery party favors. From colorful glitter pencils, shiny stickers, glittery bouncy balls, picture frames to glitter hair accessories, body glitter, lip gloss, and sparkly temporary tattoos. Your guests will love anything you can find that shines. I always really loved the American Girl summer party books. I had a few of them. I mean, I wasn't much of a party planner, so I just liked reading them and kind of imagining. But, um, this book did come with like a kind of like a shopping list for like what you would need for each party, which was nice. For example, this one would have that one. Has it on the back too. All right, but yeah, that was all the glittery items I have to show you. I don't have as many as you might think. I don't know how many you would think I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to read another idea from this book or another summer party book, let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.